a quick tip today with respect to working with multi instruments when you need to export stems. So I've got a really simple production over here. We have a harmonic element, which is a multi instrument. It's made up of an instance of Presence XT, and then we have an instance of Mai Tai. And together, those two instruments sound like this. Just a real simple chord progression. And if we add in the drums, So let's say that you wanted to export this. Let's say that this was a fully arranged song and you had used some multi-instruments. Or perhaps you just wanted to free up your CPU resources because you're using really CPU intensive virtual instruments. There's a real cool way that we can tackle this and it actually gives us a lot of control. So if we were doing any processing on this individual track where we have this multi, maybe we did some EQ or something like that. Maybe we have this kind of like polished and we like the sound of this and we want to give this as an option. But also maybe we don't want to box ourselves into a corner if we wanted to do anything further along the line with respect to the mix. In that case, we can go to the export stems option. Now, if you go to tracks, this is going to give you exactly what you would expect. You will have that multi-instrument. It'll be a mix between the piano and the instance of Mai Tai, and it will also have the pro EQ, so any EQ or shaping that you've done. But if you enter the channels mode, this gives you a little bit more control, because in this case, we can choose between the actual multi, so any processing, any pre-mixing that's done, that will be applied. But we also have the option to export the piano and the Mai Tai bells individually. So that becomes really useful. I'm going to get rid of the file name prefix, publishing, we'll leave that set to off. Format, I wanna leave it in the exact same format as my project. We will go between the loop, and then I wanna make sure write tempo to audio files and import to track is enabled. So in this case now, I'm gonna bring in everything. So I'll have an audio print of my drums and all of my individual elements. Now if I mute these two, this is the multi, and that has the EQ that I applied. Then we have the piano, just on its own, and that is going to be exactly as it is over here. Then we have our Mai Tai bells, and of course we have our drums. So now we've got a lot of control with respect to how we wanna send this off to be mixed, or if you just wanted to continue along the line working in audio. So a really useful tip, hidden in the export stems, all you have to do is select channels and then you've got the ability to split up your multi-instrument into individual stereo streams. And while you're at it, you can also take a two mix print or a stereo render of the multi-instrument just sitting on the instrument bus on its own. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you do, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.